What's going on guys? So I just got done watching Rudnick's video, um, Truth About Hagger Garage, and like, I mean, I've said it before, I'm not like, I'm not like OG like that. I don't, I like, I didn't know any of them. I met Orion through my buddy Tony, and uh, yeah, we just kind of became friends and told me to come through to the shop, started hanging out, all that stuff, and uh, before you know it, we're paint matching our drift cars and going on tour. So, personally, I, I can't really think of a, a time where I was genuinely, like, super upset about Haggard. I was more upset about, like, like not making money, but at the same time, I wasn't, like, I, I didn't feel like... I didn't feel entitled like that. Like like Rudnick, like I yeah, like he start he like helped start the channel and everything and he like uh from from what I understand, like I, I didn't really watch them or anything. But he he seems to be a, a big part of what Haggard was. Me, however, not really, so I never really felt the need to like ask for money or anything, but he did like but Orion would like he you know, he paid for the paint, stuff like that, like he paid for stuff on tour. Like I, I'll, I'll always be like forever grateful for that. Like I would have never, ever been able to do that without Orion and without the team, you know. So about everything, I don't really know where to start. So, like I said, I'll just start from the beginning. I met Orion. Um, we were friends, chilling, whatever. You know, started coming to the shop. I met. Uh, I think the first time I met, I came to the shop actually was uh, my buddy had a cat for uh cam's sr his his sr240 and he gave it to me i brought it over to them and i just came there after work started hanging out and uh, everyone seemed cool i mean i was i was chilling um then like you know before you know it we start like hanging out more and like they already knew jimmy you know i've been friends with jimmy for a while before that um i think they met don before me actually or Don went to the shop before me. I met Orion and Cam and them. I, no, no, no. I met Orion before anybody. And then I think Don went to the shop with Jimmy before me or something like that. And I remember, <laughs> I remember, I was like, dude, what the fuck? Like, you got all these followers, dude. Because, like, Don was in one of the videos or whatever. And uh, I think they, like, posted a picture of him. And I was like, yo, you got mad followers. That's crazy. And then, like, you know, before you know it, we're both, like, just, we're just, Becoming friends with them, you know, going to the apartment, smoking hookah, going to the shop, like, wrenching on shot shit, just, you know, having fun. And, uh, it was fun for a while, and then, what was it, I, uh, we, we came up with the, with the plan, and it was, like, this huge, like, Fast Five, like, Danza Kaduro, I think it was Fast Five, like, you know, like, at the end where, like, Danza Kaduro starts playing, and they're all, like, living a good life? That was us talking about uh, the Miata giveaway because we're like, yo, we can do this, we can do this. We're gonna buy, we're gonna like buy a house and like build a compound and build a drift track and all that stuff. You know, eventually that was like the grand scheme, the grand plan, but it didn't really go the way we wanted it to because we didn't know the whole legality of like giving a car away, you know, raffling, giveaway, whatever. And um, originally we wanted to just do like fifty bucks a ticket, like you know, whatever, you know, fifty bucks an entry. And just give away like a, like a shirt with it and like a sticker pack or something. But that that we we were stressing on tour because like we were going back and forth with Strange Planet because they were handling all like the legality stuff of it. And we were like, oh shit, like we need to do a lot more than just say, hey, 50 bucks a ticket because it's like super illegal to do it that way. And um, yeah, so we went on tour. It was fun. There was, you know... A lot, of, a lot of good memories. I'll I'll just, like, add a bunch of, like, Snapchat and stuff and just, like, random videos of that I have on my phone, like, at the end of the video. But, yeah, that was fun. I mean, not, like, like I said, like, nothing really bad happened. I mean, I was getting a little bit worried with money because I did quit my job to go on tour because I was like, you know, make $13 an hour, travel the country. I was like, I'm going to take the shot. Why not? You know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Travel the country with my friends is going to be awesome. Now, there, on tour, there was shade being thrown, like, like uh, Dylan seemed, like, a little bit more agitated than normal. Like, I remember one time we switched seats or something like that, and, like, I think I was up front, and then someone else was in the, in the like, in the bed area, and he was just like, oh, this can't keep happening, blah, 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 and everyone was just like, uh, why? Like, why do we have assigned seats, you know? But uh, other than that, I mean, and then, and then he was just getting mad because, like, 
he wasn't driving, you know, his car, which I mean, it was, a, it was, it was, it was Orion's car always on paper, but he said he'd let Dylan drift it and he called it Dylan's car. So it was kind of Dylan's car, but like at the same time, it wasn't because Orion paid for everything. But, and, and again, I, I don't have, you know, I have literally zero beef with Dylan. I mean, he probably doesn't really like me, but I don't think he hates me. I mean, they were, they all came to the shop to, um, to clear out all the cam stuff. So, I mean, we were all cool then, but, um, yeah, so tour, that was like the only hiccup on tour. I mean, nothing else really happened besides like Orion and everyone just being super stressed about like the giveaway and money and like the grand scheme of everything. And then, um, yeah, we got back from tour stuff was, you know, I, I wasn't really around the shop that much for a while because I was hanging out with Callie and I was, you know, I was doing all that. So I was like, I want to say, I want to, you know, I started, that's when I started dating Callie when I came back from tour. Cause we've been talking before that. And it's like, I was away for a month and I'm like, yo, I need, you know, to make moves. I really like her. Let's try this out. And you know, almost a year and a half later, here I am, here we are. Callie's my girl. It's lit. But yeah, so after that, after tour, blah, blah, blah that's when I kind of like started like being like, uh, I'm not really doing so well. So I was like, you know what? I'll do side jobs. I was like, I started posting, started like doing exhaust, blah, blah, whatever. And at that point I was still, you know, a character on like the Haggard channel, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that was really it. Like I, I just kind of was struggling with money and, uh, again, like I never really asked formally like, Hey, like Orion, can you pay me? Which I'm sure he would have like helped out, but like, I wasn't expecting Cause like I wasn't editing, I, w I would pick up the camera here and there, but like I never liked vlogging. I never, I was never comfortable with that. If you, if you ever, you can't see them now cause they're deleted, but the, old, the older videos, you guys know, I was like kind of awkward cause I just never really, I was never really like an on camera type of guy. So I was just like, uh, you know, I was just kind of awkward and um, I'm still kind of, I'm just an awkward guy. And if you meet me, you'd probably be like, Hey, it's kind of awkward. But it's cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm exactly how I am on camera, but um. So, yeah, I was just struggling with money, and I uh, started doing side jobs, and that, like, picked up a little bit. I was, like, making, you know, enough to pay my insurance. Like, I was just trying to make enough to pay my insurance, pay for my gas, and pay for, like, things to do with Cali on the weekends, or actually whenever, because I just didn't have, I didn't have a formal job. So, after that, I really started struggling with money. And I was just like kind of bummed out that I wasn't getting paid from the main channel. But at the same time, again, this just goes back to I just didn't feel like I deserve to be paid. Like Cam was getting paid, but it's like he couldn't like the ad revenue. He couldn't really afford to like pay everybody the same. You know what I mean? So like he's paid me a couple a couple times for the main channel. People don't know and they think that like I painted his truck and he dipped or he pieced it out. So he, he literally gave me, he, he gave me 500 bucks for painting the truck. I was more than okay with that. You know what I mean? I was super grateful for that. I was like, hey, fucking, I would have done it to help him out, but he gave me the 500 bucks. Um, Orion himself, he's never really, he's never done anything to me. Like, I, like I, again, I can't speak for Rudnick. They, they go back a lot farther than me and Orion do. But as you guys know, like this channel was Orion's. And he gave it to me with like 48k. And I mean, a lot of people kind of use that against me. But at the same time, it's just like, if people don't want to watch the videos, they're not going to want to watch, want to watch the videos, you know, and I, I went up in subs, I, 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 I double, I more than doubled the subs. So actually, I, I'm almost, you know, double the sub of uh, the sub count of what it used to be. So I'm proud of that. I've been sticking to my like daily upload schedule, all that stuff. And uh, I actually wanted to make this video for like three days as like one of the filler videos I was talking about for H2O, but I just, I just never did it. And I saw Rudnick's post on Instagram today. I'm like, ah, shit, you know, like, and I commented, I'm like, fuck, you beat me to it. But I, at the same time, this isn't really like it. I'm, I'm exposing Hag because I don't, I don't have any backing to expose Haggard. Like, like there's nothing that happened to me that I was like, you know, like, oh, this is Orion's fault. You know what I mean? Like I kind of put the blame on myself. Like I didn't have money because I refused to go get a job because I was like, you know what? I can work all week and lose all this time working on my car, hanging out with my friends and hanging out with my girlfriend. And then I'll make 300, 400 bucks. Or I could do a side job once a week and make 300 bucks at least. You know what I mean? Like it's not, and I like, 
the weirdest thing is when I started doing side jobs, people were like mocking me and like making fun of me for doing side jobs as if like, I should like, what, like, what do you guys, what did you guys want me to do? Go at, like, Hey, Orion, please give me money. Like I need to pay my insurance or like whatever. You know what I mean? Like I, I was never like that. He'll testify. He'll tell you guys like, yeah, I never did that. And, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't think I ever directly asked Orion like, Hey, I need money. Besides when I start, well, like when I was posting on the Haggard channel as myself, like editing and everything, I got paid. I think one time it was like 800 bucks. I think I got like, I probably made like 1600 to 2500 off the main channel when I was posting like every three or four videos I was making one video. And it's like, you know, I wasn't getting the greatest views because, you know, Orion is the face of Haggard, not me. That's not, like, and I understand that. I'm not trying to like take that from anybody or like say that I'm the face of Haggard. I'm not. That's all Orion. Like that. And I understand. That's why I didn't get the best views. And like, I don't have that kind of like crazy, you know, I, I don't sell as well as Orion does because he is just, he's been doing this for so long. Like same with drifting. Like I'm not, I'm not great at drifting. Why? Because I never had money to, and I just never had any friends that were around me. I like, I always wanted to, I just never had the money or the friends that like would come practice or had rear wheel drive cars. We all had front wheel drive cars. And uh, that's why Orion is where he is, you know what I mean? <clears throat> what else? So, yeah, um, I kind of fell in a hole of like, I, I need money and the channel is not providing that. Though the channel did provide like some car parts, I got some sponsors, you know what I mean? Like I got paid from Orion a couple times. Like, he, he flew me out to Florida originally to paint the clubhouse to help them paint the clubhouse that they were going to do or whatever. And, uh, just that, that whole thing just kind of went down the drain, you know, with, uh, with like Austin and everything, everything just kind of went sour there. But, um, yeah, I mean, we, I mean, I went down to Florida. We let Austin go because of, you know, just, I guess, shadiness. I, you know, I, I don't know, whatever we, we, we had, we let, we let Austin go. That's, you know, that's clear. Everyone knows that. It's not like it's a mystery. Um, he, he'll he say, you know, whatever, but I, I don't know. We, we, we let Austin go. We all came to the consensus, like, he has to go, you know what I mean? Um, same with, like, the Dylan thing. It was just, like, I never had anything against Dylan, but, like, I guess he was doing shady shit, but I don't, I, like, I wasn't there for most of that. I kind of just heard about it. And like one day we just all went to the apartment and Orion was like, Hey, like, can you guys back me on this? And I was just like, I'm, I'll go with you. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know Dylan like that. You know what I mean? I, I don't know any of them other than like the last year that you guys saw on camera, but like that was pretty much it. And like when, when Orion moved to Florida, it was just like me and Cam and then Cam just kind of like. You know, we've, we've had multiple times. I'm still cool with Cam. Like, I, I mean, I haven't heard from him in a while. I wish I did, but I mean, we're kind of both doing our own things. I'm glad I see him on Snapchat. He's like happy and stuff and he's just having fun with his girl. He's in Cali. Like that's, you know, that's dope. I'm, I'm happy for Cam. I'm glad he like, you know, figured, figured everything out because he was in a pretty deep hole. And like, we've had some really late night, just long talks at the shop and like nothing was really helping him. And I mean, I, and, like, he kind of figured out no one can help him but himself and he did it. So that's, you know, awesome. I'm super happy for Cam. Um, yeah, that, I mean, me and Cam were making videos here and there and he just, you know, lost interest in it. He said it felt like a job. Again, like same, same like Rudnick. I'm not going to sit here and speak on Cam's behalf because, you know, that's Cam. That's, that's, you know, his business. But I mean, the, the blunt part of it is just like, he just didn't, feel the videos you know what i mean he didn't like making videos anymore it wasn't enjoyable for him and just like shit went downhill and we couldn't really do anything about it i i tried to you know talk to him but at the same time like that's him that's not me i i can't i can't help you know what i mean he has to figure out how to help and he did which again is awesome i'm super happy for cam and uh yeah so come winter whatever winter ish uh my z blows up i'm like freaking out i'm just like all over the place. I'm like, fuck, like my registration ended on my Z and I didn't have any money to pay for it. And then, and I was still trying to do side jobs. So I didn't have any money to pay for my Z. I didn't, 
I, so I couldn't re-register it. So the last like couple weeks, I'm driving up to Eastern State Connecticut University where Cali was going and uh, just hoping I have enough money throughout the week to have enough money to drive to her school and stay there for the weekend or stay there for a day or two or whatever, just to see her, you know what I mean? She's an hour and a half away from me. That sucked. And I was just super, super, super stressed out for like the longest time. And then like the oil pressure started going up in my, like I was driving there one day and like the oil pressure just kept rising, rising, rising. I think I thought, I thought the sender was messed up. Maybe it was, I don't know. And, uh, then after that, it was just, I, I did one of the videos where it was like how to street drift. And I got home and my car was knocking and I was like, oh shit, you know, then it blew up. I didn't have a car. Then Orion's like, dude, take the dually. It's still registered. Like, again, like I'm saying, like, I don't know what happened with Rudnick. I wasn't there. I'm not saying he's lying. I'm not saying any of that. I don't know what happened with him. I don't know what Orion did to him. I don't know Ryan, or if Orion did anything to him. I just, I just, I just literally just watched the video. It's 4.30 in the morning. I, I just got done editing. And I'm going to have to edit this again because I figured, you know what? This is a good time to make the video. I'm wide awake. Why not? So, what was it? So, yeah, I was in a super, super shitty spot. And my buddy Sammy was like, dude, I just opened my dealership up. Like, we're starting, you know, to need people to work here. And I was like, you know what, dude? Like, I'm not, I'm not above, like, manual labor at all. As you guys have seen and you guys should know if you've been watching this channel for long enough or watching anything. Even the main channel. You guys saw me making videos at my work. I was maintaining a job, a girlfriend, and posting on the main channel quite frequently. So, yeah, that, that all happened, and I, I was working for a couple months, whatever, you know, but I, I, exp I, I expressed to my boss, not, not Sammy, but his dad, he has, he's like a partial owner or whatever, and I was like, listen, man, like, I can work four days a week, I'll give, I, I know how to detail, I know how to, you guys will ro roast me for it, whatever, but I, I, I know how to do a lot of things. I'm not the best at everything, but I do have a lot of knowledge in a lot of areas, that were very helpful to the dealership. So I started working there, whatever, and yeah, I mean, it was cool. And then at the end, he was like, hey, we need you six days a week or you gotta go. And I was like, listen, dude, I, I can't do that. And this was after Orion was like, hey, take the extras channel, the Hacker Garage extras channel, Hacker Garage Gaming, whatever it was. And I was like, you know what, whatever. Give me my checks, I'm out, sorry. You know, no hard feelings, but I'm gonna make more money doing this and having fun while doing it. Though it is stressful, I'm not saying that it's all like dandy, you know, I this gets in the way of, of me and Callie's relationship, like trying to hang out all the time and it's just puts stress on both of us and like it's like I always have to upload a video so I always have to be at the shop and she doesn't always want to be at the shop, don't get me wrong, she's super supportive, super, super supportive, she's the most supportive person I have, ever, besides my dad and like, yeah, I mean, and my mom obviously and just like, yeah, I mean, I, I start I, I I was making twelve to fifteen hundred a month at the job, and then when I left, I posted nine videos and I made fifteen hundred dollars in the first week of posting full time. So I was like, oh shit, I'm onto something here. Let me just post full time. You know what I mean? I was just like, if if I'm gonna bust ass, work forty hours a week for whatever, and make twelve to fifteen hundred. And then post nine videos of me working on my own stuff and having fun while doing it. Why not try to do that full time and just, you know, take the leap? And that's always the thing that kind of scared me. But back back to uh, like the original stuff, like, so Orion said you can have the channel. I was like, okay. I was like, and again, I don't feel entitled. Like, that's not me, guys. I, I don't feel like I deserve anything. You know what I mean? And it was just like. He was just like, hey, you can have the channel. I was like, okay, well, what percentage of it do you want? And he, I wish I still had the text. He had like three numbers since then. And he literally just said, no, just keep all of it. Like, I'll sign this, I'll sign the channel name up to you when the full, when the contract is up. And um, yeah, it'll be your channel, like under your name. And it is, it has been since I think the first month. I think he's, he, he only had to send me my, my first months of, revenue my first month and then after that it was signed over to me and you know that was that i mean haggard gave me a lot of good experiences a lot of good memories dude like 
I, I hold I hold nothing against anybody, you know what I mean? Like Orion, I I mean I he's he's watching this, but like I, I appreciate the shit out of what Orion's done for me. I I can't say, you know, again I can't say for what Rudnick, you know, what he what him and Orion went through as like, you know, youngins, but as friends, as like just partners, whatever, we, we did talk a lot of business, we did have a lot of ideas, but Orion's never wronged me. And I don't want you to think that because I said I didn't get paid for a while from the main channel that he was like robbing me or something like that. Like I had fun doing it and a lot of it I was, you know, making my own money because I don't want to be reliant on him. Everyone else, like him, like him and Cam were like the main, you know, haggard guys. Everyone knows that. So clearly Cam got paid, but like Brendan and Dylan you know didn't really get much they got like the cars and stuff and like they got to have fun with their friends and like he paid for like their living and stuff but he kind of like was pushing that he wasn't saying like hey i don't want to pay you it was more of like i can't afford to pay for all these people's living and pay them a full ass salary which is understandable which is why he like kind of pushed dill like when, when when he kicked dylan out he literally said i want you to and he like, it's not like we gave him a severance package or anything like that. He literally was like, here, you know, I'll give you some money for gas. Like, it's just not looking good on the channel, like, for PR or whatever. And, you know, that that was really it. Like, I still don't have any type of bad feelings towards Dylan. We had a lot of fun. Like, we had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. It was just a good time. And that's just how it went down. Straight up, just like that. That was it. But he did say, dude... I want you to post on your channel. I want you to make money. I want you to be successful. I want, and di all, I, Dylan, if you are watching this, please comment on it. Tell me if I'm lying. All Dylan said was, can we still drift together? Can we still be friends? We all said yes. Like, why, why would we not? And Orion said, I, I hope to see you at drift events. Like, as, as sour as you may be towards Orion, Dylan, just, I mean... Again, I don't know, like, him as well as you do. I don't know what happened between you guys, like, originally. I don't know any of that stuff. I don't know OG Haggard. I know what I've seen. And just, yeah, I mean, comment on, I mean, dude, comment on the video. I'm not, I'm not lying. Exact, that's exactly what Dylan said. He didn't, Dylan wasn't hostile. He didn't do anything like that, guys. He didn't, you, you guys kind of draw him out to be, like, this horrible person. I mean... Whatever he did in his past, I don't know. You know what I mean? I wasn't there. I don't I don't know what happened. It, I mean, that's not for me to judge, but knowing Dylan as a person, I like Dylan. We had we had friend we we had a lot of uh we had a lot of good times. And uh yeah, I mean, that's exactly what he said. Like, like I said there was no hostility, there was nothing like that. We were just chilling. And uh, Dylan left, and Brendan, there was, I mean, it was, with him, it was just health. It, like, none of us have any type of bad feelings towards Brendan. I love Brennan. Everybody, you know, I love Cam. Everybody is just, stuff just happens, guys. Like, things go downhill. Stuff doesn't last forever. But I'm glad of, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for what I've gained from it. I've gained the YouTube experience. Orion helped me out by giving me this boost with the channel, and... I'm just, I'm really happy about it. I, I make my living off of it. I get to have fun. I get to build cool stuff. No, it doesn't always go fast. I know. I know I'm going to get that, but I'm not making millions here, guys. I make it enough to pay shop rent and do a couple car mods a month. And I'm just trying to get by until I can make more. And then I'll be able to put out cooler content and do cooler stuff. And I look forward to that. But that's really... That's really it. Again, Orion gave me the truck. That wasn't like some sham thing. Like, uh, he was originally gonna give it to Cam, but like Cam kind of stopped coming around, and like he Orion was like, "Dude, I know you need the tow rig," and I like we kind of all knew Cam wasn't really like. Like I said, he just didn't want to. He just didn't want to do videos, guys. That's that's the whole thing. I don't, I don't, I don't blame him at all. But Orion was just like, "Dude, why don't you take the truck?" And I was like, "Do you think that'll be okay?" And he's like. Because I didn't ask for anything. He's just like, dude, like, do you want the truck? I'm like, yeah. And this started when I, like, when when the Z blew up. 
he was just like, dude, take the truck. Like, it's yours. I'm like, okay. And he sent, he sent me the title for it. I have the title for it. That's it. So Orion hooked me up with uh, Big Boost on the channel. A dually, which I, I still don't know what I'm doing with it. I don't I really don't want to get rid of it because it's just like we had so much fun in that damn, that, that, dude, we, we had so much fun in that thing. He, you know, made it possible for me to travel around the country, go to drift events. It was a good time. It was a really good time. And as for the end of Haggard, you know, it's it's kind of sad because, like, I, I mean, again, I wasn't there from day one. I know. But at the same time, it's just, like, we had so much fun and just, like, the, just the, I'm just, I associate the Haggard name with just really good times with my friends. And that's, like, these people, I, I, I just became so close with them over such a short time. And it just felt like I was, like, dude, like, why haven't we been friends this whole time? Like, I've lived you know, 30 minutes away from Torrington my whole life and I've never met these dudes until my buddy Tony that I met through Jimmy, Kooky Tony, introduced me to Orion. We went snow drifting. So yeah, that was that was that was it guys. That was it was fun while it lasted. I'm glad that I am where I am today. May not be in the best position. I'm not raking in thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a month. I'm not you know, doing any of that, but at the end of the day, I'm having fun, and, you know, I have Orion to thank for all that, being completely genuine, I've told him before, I've told him many times, I, I just, I, I'm very thankful that he, I don't know, I'm just thankful that I met him, I mean, he's, he's, like I said, he's never done me wrong, so, for the hundredth time, I can't speak for what, whatever happened with Rudnick, if Rudnick, if you're watching this, I'm, Again, I, I don't I don't know. I, like I said, guys, I've met Rudnick a couple times. Like he even said in the video at the end, literally the last question, I, he was like, "Yeah, I, we said what up a couple times." And I'm, I we were hanging out at the shop once with like Cam and like Spencer and shit. Like, when I met them, but again, Rudnick, Rudnick doesn't seem like a bad dude. He seems cool. I don't I don't have any problem with Rudnick. I don't even really have a problem with Tommy. We like bickered on the internet, not even directly like once. I don't genuinely dislike the guy or anything. It's just like, I don't know him. I just didn't know why he was talking smack in the first place. But like, I don't have a problem with Tommy. I don't have a problem with anybody. Like I said, I don't, I, like, there's no, there's literally no drama between me and anybody. Everything is just like fabricated through like conspiracy theories. I don't know how many times I've shrugged during this video. It's, it's 4.50 now. It's late, guys. <laughs> so excuse me for probably looking and sounding super tired but i just figured you know what i might as well get this video i'm already one video ahead and i'm going to be two videos ahead for h2o maybe i'll throw a couple vlogs in from down there or something i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed sorry burp i hope you guys enjoyed my you know explanation of my experience everything that happened with me and maybe bringing to light some things that you guys maybe didn't know about or were, cu were curious about uh, like that's pretty much it. I don't know. I'm just happy. I kind of got to say everything uh, Also, you know shout out to Rudnick for posting the truth about Haggard garage before Before I got to post my Haggard is dead video because I've been wanting to post it for three damn days And I literally commented on his shit. He probably didn't even see it. I don't even I don't, I don't know I, don't, I commented. I was like damn it. You friggin beat me to it Like someone commented like oh like do what you got to do. I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to expose, you know what I mean? I'm just speaking the truth, you know? So without further ado, this is a final goodbye to Haggard. Haggard is dead. Get over it. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick guys. I know a lot of you guys have been watching for a long time and a lot of this stuff means a lot to you guys, but that's just, you know, it is what it is. Good things come to an end, but Oh, freaking, I've been sick, guys. I'm sorry. I don't want to edit the hell out of this video, so this will still be in it. Oh, but, again, it's been a fucking blast. This has been the best experience of my life. A lot of, you know, bad shit has happened during because, just like money, like I said, money. But I don't let money get in between, like, my friends and stuff. I, I Like I said, I was never that big of a part of the channel, so I never asked for money. I could see where Rudnick's coming from with this, though. However, me, I'm just like, ah. But without further ado, I'll just post some, you know, some good memories. Uh, I'll try. 
Sorry, the damn camera died, but yeah, I mean, the video is already like 30 minutes, so I don't want to make it, you know, Rednex is 32 minutes. I'll make mine like 35 if the clips are long enough. They're mostly just like Snapchats and stuff from like the save story or whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my little explanation video or whatever you want to call it. But see you guys next time. As you know, I post every single day. Every single day. Going to H2OI. It's going to be a blast. Callie's car is coming out. Awesome. Could not be happier for her. <laughs> Honestly, I just, I always wanted her to love her car again because she loved it when she got it when it was just stock and I'm like I know I can make this thing look a lot better and just feel better and be the car she wants it to but yeah see you guys next time thank you for freaking watching hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell if you haven't and I'll see you guys tomorrow 12 o'clock ish if I post at 12 peace So, what did you get done on the car you know, so far? Hey, my man, yeah. But look what we got to see my auntie right now. Hey! It's time! Woo! Boy, I'll tell you what we got got him. Country music, boy! <laughs> What's up, dude? Yeah, what's up? What's fucking up, uh, dude? I don't know. What the fuck is that? Ooh! 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 <laughs> Tell us a story about the sows. Howdy. This whole land of George. <laughs>
<laughs> I this thought broke when I out over again. The most I mint saw shoes. Yeah, they look on video. Dude, they, dude, 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 they look. Party. They literally. They look mint, dude. <laughs> Yo, we out here, boys. I must say, the hype is real. This is a quality ass burger. When the generator dies, but you're still trying to smoke hookah. You already know, boy, the pilot got the plug, boy. Ah. That's mint. Generator cooked. This is mint. <laughs> Chow, it's late as fuck. We get home late. This is from the cat and Carlos. My idea. XD 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 XD